It's always been a uh, sort of this beacon up on the hill for me of, of sort of the best of the best in Chapel Hill. My philosophy of, of food is always evolving. You know, I think very simply, you find the, find the best ingredient, apply the appropriate technique, add the perfect seasoning. A lot of this job is about the satisfaction of cooking. There's a moment when I walk in the door that I'm, um, that nobody has, has said, Chef, I need this, or Chef, we have this problem, or Chef, this didn't come in yet. And so the sort of, I get to work and the possibilities are infinite. My day looks like uh, arrive in the kitchen, go through the uh, prep list that the PM cooks left the night before, uh, write up the prep list, taste through everything on the lunch line, go through lunch service, go into afternoon prep, any meetings that I have, answer emails, things like that. And then repeat the process at, at dinner service. The menu creation process happens during the course of the day. That's when we're talking about our new, our new menu ideas. Um, and Jeremy's my executive sous chef, and so a lot of it is just back and forth about uh, what holes on the menu do we need to fill, what ingredients are we excited about. Most eating is done on my feet, uh, with whatever's at hand. I try to eat differently than most chefs. <laughs> That's why I work out, so I can eat what I want. You know, the winding down mostly occurs on the, on the drive home. Take off my clogs, put on some comfortable, more comfortable shoes, roll on the windows, turn on some music, and then go home, kiss the kids. <laughs>